God's favor makes all the difference. Esther chapter 2 verse 9. Now the young woman pleased him, talking about Esther, and she obtained his favor. That is the favor of Haggai, the custodian. So he readily gave beauty preparations to her besides her allowance. Then seven choice maid servants were provided for her from the king's palace. And he moved her and her maid servants to the best place in the house of the women. There is one outstanding work of God that we see in the book of Esther. And it has to do with divine favor upon the life of Esther. From the time that she was chosen to be part of this numerous women, historically they, they say that there were about 400 young ladies gathered into the palace, out of whom King Ahasuerus was going to select one of them uh, to be his queen. From the time Esther was selected to be one of these 400, from that moment on we see God's favor coming on her life. In the verse that we just read, we see that the favor of God was upon her so that she obtained favor in the eyes of Haggai, who was the custodian of these women, and he had to help these ladies get prepared and ready and take them, uh, take them through a preparation process and before they could come and appear before the king. And so Esther obtained favor. He gave her whatever she needed uh, for her preparation in addition to her allowance which the king had for all of these people. Uh, he also put her in a very uh, secure and uh, uh, the best place it says in the palace. He also assigned her uh, seven maidservants and it says seven choice maidservants meaning people the best that he could find who would serve Esther. And As we progress through the book of Esther we find that the favor of God kept coming on her life and moving her in in her journey and bringing her eventually to the place where she could make a huge difference in the lives of God's people, the Jewish people. So here's another very important insight from the book of Esther. It is the favor of God that can make all the difference in our lives. As somebody said, just one nod from God is all that it takes. It can alter the very course of your life. It can change your destiny. The favor of God is always released on your life for a purpose. It is very interesting to know that Esther's Jewish name was Hadassah, which simply means a myrtle plant, a small flowering plant. But she, because of the favor of God, became Esther, a star, a queen, somebody who had great influence upon the kingdom. And all it took was the favor of God. So we must learn to ask God for His favor, knowing that His favor will give us influence. His favor can do things in our lives which our own abilities, our own skills, our own strength could not get us uh, into. So ask God for His favor. Recognize when God releases favor on you. Recognize where the favor of God is taking you and begin to move in that. Because where the favor of God is, that's the place of your blessing. That's the place of your destiny. Ask God for His favor and follow where His favor leads you. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for what Your favor can do upon our lives. We pray that You'll give us grace to recognize where You are placing favor upon our lives and to begin to move with that to steward, Lord, very carefully the favor that you put upon us, not to misuse it, not to abuse it, not to take it for granted, but every favor that you put upon us, help us to steward it, because we know it's leading us into the purposes you have for our lives. Give us this understanding, we pray, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.